Hello and welcome to another First in Theatre training video and today I will be talking to you about groups, what they are and how to use them. This video is going to be a little bit shorter than the last one but just as useful. Groups are an easy way to select a large number of fixtures whilst only having to type in or remember one number. You might use a group if you have two different kinds of units on one LX bar and you want to be able to select all lanterns of each type more easily. You can also decide which order units are saved in when programming a group so that when you come to create effects on stage, the order you've decided shapes the effects you see. Let's take a look at the different kinds of groups we already have in the First in Theatre base file. We can do this by pressing Group Group on the virtual keyboard, by finding the Groups tab in the Displays and Controls menu, or by simply pressing the G key twice on your keyboard. You may have noticed that as we entered the group list display, we have been taken into blind mode, shown by the blue colour scheme. In the command line you can see the word blind, and also group 25. Blind mode means that any alterations made using the command line will not be made as manual changes to the state on stage, but in this case, as shown on screen, any current changes will be made to group 25. So before you make any changes, be sure to double check you have the right group selected. As you can see, we have a small number of groups already pre-programmed into this show file. Here is a quick breakdown of what is displayed on screen when looking at the group list display. On the left hand side, we have the group number chosen by you when you first create the group. This is the number you reference when wanting to use a group in the command line. We then have a group label, which you can set for yourself, as I will show you later in this video. And then finally, we have the channels that are part of this group. The greater than symbol represents the word through, so in this context it means channels 25 to 28. With this in mind, let's look back at group 25 which contains all of the units on LX2. The channels in this group are 25 through 28 and also 41 through 43. The group list view does not use the plus symbol to show the word and, as it displays these numbers as if you may have written them down by hand with the focus being on the order in which the numbers are inputted. If we take a look at the rig, we can select group 25, put it at full, and then select Chan Check at the bottom of your screen. Once we hit enter, you can see that we've brought up all lanterns in this group. Channel Check allows us to go through the group one by one, checking lanterns in the order they are shown in the groups list. As you can see, we have channels 25, 26, 27, 28, and then we go back to 41, then 42, and finally 43. Group 25 follows this order because this is how the channels are programmed into the group. So let's say we wanted to run an effect on this group that makes each lantern flash in order. The effect would go along the hex paths from left to right before jumping back to flash through the LU zoom. Let's go back to the group list through pressing Group Group and let's change the order so that when we flash along LX2 we go unit by unit along the bar rather than jumping back. Now we are in blind, let's select the group we want to edit by typing in group 25 and then hitting enter. We can now type in the new channel order that we would like to see for this group. Looking at LX2 on the lighting plan, we can see that if we want to go along the lanterns from left to right, we would need to follow the order 25, 41, 26, 42, 27, 43, and 28. Putting this into the command line, it would be 25 and 41 and 26 and 42 and 27 and 43 and 28. And then after we press enter, you can see that we're given the option to confirm that we want to do this. We are asked to confirm these changes because we're altering a group that already has channels assigned to it. So hit enter to confirm, and then you should see that the order has now changed, reflecting the lantern shown on the LX2. If we go back into live and once again type in group 25 at full, channel check enter, when we now step through the units using the next key, you can see that the order has now been changed. Let's pretend that we have decided for some reason that we don't want channel 42 to be a part of this group. We can really easily alter this by going back into the group list display. Ensuring that group 25 is selected, we can easily remove channel 42 by using the minus key and then pressing enter. You can also remove more than one fixture using this method, let's say channels 41 and 43. You can do this by typing in minus 41 and 43 enter. 
When adding channels to a group that already has lights assigned to it, it is really important to remember to always start with a plus symbol, otherwise you'll remove all the lights already in the group. <coughs> Quickly pressing undo, let's try that again with the plus symbol this time, adding channels 41 through 43 to the end of the group once again. Continuing to look at the bottom of your screen, you can see options regarding the channel order within groups displayed in the soft keys. Using these keys, it is possible to randomise the order of channels in a group. After clearing the command line, you can then click random and hit enter. This immediately randomises the order, as currently shown on screen. It is possible to put the channels back into numerical order through clicking the reorder button, followed by enter. It is also possible to reverse the order from highest number to lowest through clicking the reverse button and then hitting enter. This is a really handy shortcut saving you from retyping out an entire group's worth of channel numbers. It is possible to copy a group that you've already recorded, let's say 25, to a new number such as 24 by typing in group 25, copy 2 on the virtual keyboard or C on your own keyboard, followed by 24 and then pressing enter. You can also move a group using a similar method. By double pressing the copy to key, this command then becomes a move to in the command line. So let's move group 30 to 31 by typing in group 30, copy to, copy to, 31 and then enter. Let's then repeat this process and move this group back to 30. As group 25 is a duplicate, let's delete this group. You can do this on the virtual keyboard by typing delete group 25 enter and enter once again after you've been asked to confirm. You can record a new group in the group list display through typing in group followed by an unused number so let's say 41 and then pressing enter. This group is going to be for the three Alusium backlights so I've chosen to go for the number of the first light to be controlled by this group. As we've only just created group 41, the group is still selected, so let us type in 41 through 43, hitting enter, then we can use the virtual keyboard or the L key on your keyboard to label the group. I'm going to call it Alusum BL. You can also record a group in live by typing in the channel numbers you would like, such as 25 through 28, and then pressing record, followed by group 25. But before we hit enter, you can press label or your L key and you can label the group here. I'm going to call it Hexpar BL. And there you have it. So that was a comprehensive rundown of groups in ETC Nomad. There are other functions such as subgroups that I may cover in another video. But thank you once again for tuning in, leave your feedback in the comments below, like and subscribe if you found this video helpful, and I hope to see you in the next one. See you soon.